Do you remember the excitement we all experienced three months ago when SpaceX's Starship took off the ground for the first time? Well, that same anticipation is growing once again as we edge closer to August, when SpaceX plans to stage another audacious Starship launch. At the heart of this anticipated event is SpaceX's Starbase. The site is currently brimming with activity akin to a busy kitchen prepping for a lavish dinner. Everyone is hustling, ensuring that everything is just right for the grand event. Amidst this hustle and bustle, the star of the show is undeniably the Super Heavy Booster 9. The Booster 9 is now fully equipped and ready for action. An open launch mount test on this enhanced Starship booster was completed without any issues. In layman's terms, the launch mount is akin to the launch pad for the rocket, and a successful test signifies that the booster has been correctly installed on its launch mount and all systems are in sync. SpaceX has also shared a captivating time-lapse of Booster 9 on a frosty Sunday. This event marked the first time a vehicle has been loaded on the launch site since the launch of Booster 7. The frost on the rocket is an indicator that the vehicle has been fueled, suggesting that a full tank test may have already taken place. The quick and smooth completion of these preliminary stages bodes well for the planned Starship launch at the end of August. Upon successful cryogenic proof test, the next significant phase for the Super Heavy Booster 9 is anticipated to be a series of critical engine tests, including a static fire test. These tests are considered routine for SpaceX, but are by no means trivial. They serve as full dress rehearsals where the rocket is held down on the launch pad and the engines are ignited for a brief period as they would be during an actual launch. This procedure allows the team to simulate launch conditions and analyze how the vehicle's systems respond. For Super Heavy Booster 9, the static fire test would be a record-breaking event. It would involve igniting an unprecedented number of Raptor engines, potentially as many as 33, should SpaceX decide to fully equip this particular booster prototype. Once the Super Heavy Booster 9 passes these tests and showcases its expected performance, the next step involves pairing it with Ship 25. This spacecraft is the upper stage component of the Starship and has its own achievements. Ship 25 successfully completed a static fire test, igniting all six of its Raptor engines on June 26th. In this test, the engines at the base of Ship 25 roared to life, their powerful vibrations resonating across the SpaceX Starbase site. Super Heavy Booster 9 and Ship 25 promises a powerful performance. The pairing of these advanced spacecraft is set to mark a major milestone in SpaceX's ambitious journey to push the frontiers of space travel. Meanwhile, Booster 10, the sibling of Booster 9, is also creating a stir. After residing at the Massey site for half a month, B-10 successfully passed its first cryogenic test on June 18th without any issues. This progress is genuinely astounding considering the complexity and precision required in these tests. During the cryogenic testing, engineers filled the enormous propellant tanks of Booster 10 with extremely cold liquid nitrogen. This procedure simulates the conditions the rocket will face during the actual launch. The freezing temperature of approximately minus 196 degrees centigrade is used to increase the density of the propellants. This process allows for a larger fuel reserve within the limited tank space and provides higher thrust during ascent. A significant observation from the cryogenic testing is the crucial role it plays in evaluating the structural integrity of the rocket under extreme conditions. As the propellant tanks fill with liquid nitrogen, the rocket endures intense stress, mimicking the forces and pressures experienced during liftoff. This method identifies any potential weaknesses in the rocket structure and ensures it can withstand the rigors of space travel. By exposing the rocket to these extreme conditions, engineers can assess its performance and validate its ability to endure the challenges of space exploration. Booster 10, standing tall at 69 meters, underwent testing at Massey's facility, located about 15 minutes from the Starbase factory. Back in January, SpaceX founder Musk shared that SpaceX had repurposed a gun range near Starbase for testing. Massey's gun range has been transformed into a rocket testing facility, a fitting use for the expansive land. SpaceX's progress never ceased to astound, even those who follow closely. One such pleasant surprise came when we learned that the orbital launch mount was back in action just after the successful completion of the full tank test on Booster 9. This development is significant as the launch mount serves as the foundation for the rocket launch, providing stability and support during the initial launch phase. 
To ensure the stability of prototype boosters during testing, SpaceX conducted a series of tests on the orbital launch mount using the Raptor Boost Quick Disconnects. These tests were executed seven times, focusing on the startup system for the outer 20 Raptor engines. This system was entirely replaced after the initial Starship flight test. One notable outcome from the Raptor Quick Disconnect trials is the significant amount of energy required to spin the turbo pumps at the speeds necessary for engine ignition. This observation underscores the immense power that drives these groundbreaking spacecraft and the precision required in managing this energy. Lastly, Another pivotal test involved the full-speed retraction of the booster quick disconnect arm. This test simulated the harsh conditions of launch and separation, ensuring that the arm can endure these challenging circumstances and guarantee a smooth liftoff and subsequent separation. While the projected timeline for the next Starship launch in August certainly sounds exciting, it's essential to remember that SpaceX has seen its fair share of schedule delays. For instance, before the first Starship launch, the timeline underwent multiple revisions due to an array of factors, ranging from technical challenges to regulatory hurdles. Space exploration, by its nature, is a complex and unpredictable endeavor. Each mission is a fine balance between meticulous planning and on-the-spot problem-solving. In the meantime, while we wait for liftoff, we have the fascinating world of tech developments to keep us occupied. For instance, the recent bold move by Twitter to change its logo under the influence of Musk. Twitter has taken a new turn under Musk's influence. Over the weekend, official logo was replaced with X. This is already live on the website. It seems that the social network might not stop at just replacing the logo. Musk added that the company would gradually phase out the Twitter brand and all bird-related symbolism associated with it. By late Sunday, Musk had updated his profile picture to feature the new Twitter logo. Twitter's official account also underwent a transformation with its name and display picture switched to the new X logo. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.